I did just have a very morbid conversation recently based on a name mix-up. Uh, a little while ago, my childhood cat, Callie, died, and I texted my friend Jenna the news of Callie's death. But what I didn't realize was that Autocrack changed the name Callie into Kelly, which is the name of our best friend. Oh. Yeah. Since I didn't realize the name had changed, this is the text conversation we had. True story. Hey, Jenna, I've got some sad news. Kelly's dead. <laughs> what? What happened? She got hit by a car. Oh my God. Did you call an ambulance? I already buried her. buried her? Where? In my backyard. <laughs> wow, Kels, I don't know if that was the right thing to do. <laughs> well, I was really upset, and I haven't even told you the worst part yet. <laughs> she was pregnant. because her nipples were huge. Uh, at that point, Jenna called, finally. Hmm, kind of a long time to stay in text with that information, Jenna. And we figured it out. But the best part of all of that was showing the conversation to Kelly the next day. <laughs> how often do you get to see your friend's reaction to your supposed death? It's how you find out who your real friends are. <laughs> Kelly wasn't too happy. She looked at Jenna and was like, wow, Jen, uh, it's a little concerning to know that when you hear I've been buried in a yard, <laughs> Your only reaction was just, wow, Kels, I don't know if that was the right thing to do. <laughs> Thanks for calling the cops, bitch. <laughs> Jesus.